I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're going to have a wonderful service today. We're going to be thinking about the prodigal son. And we all know that story, and it has so many wonderful lessons in it. Call your friends, tell them we're going to talk about a boy that went astray, and he came back home. And it ends well, and we all like stories that end well. We're reading from Luke chapter 15, and if you have your Bibles, you can turn to Luke chapter 15, beginning in the 11th verse, and Jesus gives the story of the prodigal son here. And then in our prayer today, we're going to pray for our brothers and sisters in the persecuted church in Somalia. Every month we pray for one of the countries, and this tale will be Somalia. And that means that all over the world, there's a focus on that one Somalia. Just think of it, the whole world praying for one country, and the believers in that country will say, oh God, thank you for my brothers and sisters all over the world, and they'll feel strength and they'll get power. But we're reading, we're beginning with the 11th verse, and he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me, and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would, have fain, would fain have filled his stomach with lusk, husks, that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I'll arise and go to my father, and I'll say unto him, Father, I sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, had compassion on him, ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it. Let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead. He's alive again. He was lost and he's found. And they began to be merry. Heavenly Father, thank you for the parables that Jesus gave. And how they explained so beautifully the wonderful gospel. And we just thank you for this story, this prodigal son. How that we can preach today and say... No matter if you may be in that far off country, no matter how dirty and filthy and wicked you might be, you can come to Jesus and Jesus will receive you. The heavenly father will receive you and he'll cleanse you and he'll make you pure again and you'll be his, you have fellowship with the father. So I pray that there'll be many, many who've drifted away that'll come back today and many who have never known you who will come to know Jesus. And now, Jesus, in heaven, we're praying for our brothers and sisters in Somalia. And we know that there's some of lost loved ones put to death because they just absolutely would not deny Jesus. And some of them in Arabic will say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And lose their head. And their mother's there. And their wife is there. And the children are there. And, oh, God, help them to know that you are there, too. And though it may feel like they're forsaken, we are never, you never forsake us. You said you'd never leave us or forsake us, and you're always there. And so help them to know that you are there and you're going to have the last word. And someday you're going to see those loved ones wearing the martyr's crown. And won't that be beautiful? And so just bless each one, Lord, and just give them courage and hope. And help us, dear Heavenly Father, who are, are not having any persecution at all to speak of, help us to stand and to witness and let the whole world know I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and I'm proud of it like St. Paul said, God forbid that I should glory 
save in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's our company. So bless our Somalian brothers and sisters. Now bless us in this service, Lord, that this is your service. And we pray that you'll speak to hearts all over the world so many will come back home and many will be born again for the first time. Pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.